My interest is really in the depletion of oil, and so I spent my life looking for it. I understood it was a finite resource, and my main interest is to understand the depletion of oil, but of course, the depletion of oil carries with it many implications for the environment, for the way we live, and for everything else. Long ago, when I was a young man, uh, we were supposed to analyze prospects for oil in an honest way. But we behaved like doctors. We said, yes, it's a good prospect, or it's a bad one, or it's good. Because in those days, there were many alternatives. So the companies wanted to know the true position. But in later years, the attitude changed. The geologists became more like salesmen. They were given some area to explore, and they would say, well, do your best to make a prospect out of this place. The question of running out is, is, is not really the question. We, we won't run out for many years. What we face is the beginning of the decline of production. That's what we face. So we are more or less halfway through the oil age, you could say. For the last 150 years, we saw everything growing, production, transport, everything you could think of increased. And now we are more or less at the top. And it decreases very slowly. But there's a big difference between going up and coming down. It's a complicated question because we must decide what we're talking about, and that's a cause of much confusion. There are many different kinds of oil. There's heavy oil in Canada, the tar sands in Venezuela, the heavy oil, and so on. The resource of that is very large, but it's very slow and expensive and environmentally damaging to take out. But as far as the ordinary oil is concerned, there is no possibility to find enough in new fields to offset the decline of the old. So no, there is no solution in new exploration. It will help a little bit, but it won't solve the problem. The term peak oil means the, the, the time of maximum production. And it comes when we've produced more or less half of what is there. So it's like drinking a glass. It starts full, and when it's half empty, we are more or less at the, the maximum. So the North Sea was a, a huge new source of oil. It passed its peak in 1999. It's falling at about 6% a year. So in, in 15, 20 years, there's nothing left. We can talk about petroleum man. And this is a new species almost. And he came only 150 years ago, which in history is quite a short period. So during this 150 years, the cheap energy from oil has changed the world we, we know in every way, even agriculture. Agriculture has been described as a process that turns oil into food. It's very dependent on agriculture, for tractors, synthetic nutrients, the whole thing. And so we are now at the top of this chapter in history. And now, by the end of this century, petroleum man is no longer there. So it's a very, it's a very serious question. The main solution to this problem is to use less, of course. We are a very wasteful society. We waste enormous amounts of energy wherever we, we look. So the first step is to not be so wasteful. And certainly, all the renewables from wind, from tide, from wave, from sunshine are important. They can help. In fact, there is no alternative. That's all that we have. So it is extremely important that people will understand that this is imposed by nature. Because if they think it's the Arabs are not giving them the oil or the Russians are keeping it from them, that's a cause of tension. So we need very much to understand that this is a natural phenomenon, very simple to understand, really. Yes, nuclear is a very useful transition, but prime, prime uranium is also past its peak. Sure, you can get lower and lower concentration of uranium, so it goes on a long time. But the best is already past its peak. 
But I agree that uh, nuclear power is very useful for the transition. Hydrogen is environmentally very satisfactory, but you've got to make hydrogen. So it uses a lot of energy to make hydrogen. So it's no solution. It's, it's useful in environmental terms, but it, is, it has to be made out of other energy. Well, eventually it is a government problem, but I think the, the, you know, the important m movement has to be that ordinary people in the street uh, 